Welcome to another video. This is Bigfoot. Hmm. Today we're looking at this Bluetooth audio receiver board, which was just $229, including shipping. It's from the WaveGet or WaveGet store on AliExpress. And unlike a lot of these products that I get from AliExpress, you don't need to do any soldering to use it. It has a micro USB adapter. You can use any old micro USB cable. So it receives a Bluetooth signal. And then for audio output, you can use RCA to 3.5 millimeter adapter of some sort, or if you're using a computer speakers you don't even need that and of course it has these little solder pads if you did want to use it in a circuit it was $1.64 plus 65 cents shipping but since I bought this the price has gone down to $1.29 and as you can see the board is available from a bunch of different stores online and generally it costs about $2 to buy which is less than the cost of a gallon of milk and look at the size of this thing it's not much bigger than a quarter and uh, it's uh, dwarfed by a AA battery or a pack of gum now we did show in a previous video that uh, you can build a more elaborate mp3 player with an interface or whatever but this is more of a single purpose thing so the first thing i wanted to do is check out the range so i started playing uh, some youtube audio tracks and just sort of walked around the backyard and it never lost signal you know direct line of sight no problem i was probably close to 100 feet away at the back and everything worked just fine playing that while you were working yeah the next thing I want to do is I want to hook it up to this Yamaha receiver, which I have connected to some uh, speakers on the back porch. Now, it's a little bit tougher to get the signal through. Uh, the porch is, uh, but there's a brick wall and some sheetrock walls, and it's about 20, 16 to 20 feet away. But it worked fine. As long as I had it, the uh, phone out in the open, I could move around the porch, even throwing this wire around it. It didn't cause interference. But if I covered up the phone with, the, uh, with my hand, it would uh, sort of short out a little bit. Uh, as long as I kept the phone, you know, out... Uh, in the open it worked and I could even walk about 20 feet away from the porch still received a signal uh, before, it, before it started to break up so it was affected by you know probably those uh, walls and things but it did a pretty good job also worked with an iPhone even uh, the newer iPhone XR and worked a little bit longer another possible use for this is to add uh, Bluetooth to an old vintage stereo like this uh, one the Sansui and I just hooked it up to an extra line in on the equalizer and it sounded okay for casual listening or listening to a podcast or something. Of course, in the room, it worked fine. So anyway, that's about it. It's a great value at $2. It's got great range if you can see it. Still good range if you're in the room. Android or iOS, uh, the phones I tried. See and you next time for another video. We might do a Bigfoot episode. A Bigfoot episode. Why would we do that? It's because Bigfoot. Oh, scary. Bigfoot's day is nearby. Oh.